So this is for all the people who like to complain about water waste. This is rainwater collected in that barrel, which goes in these plastic containers, which can and will be recycled, even cut up. All sarcasm aside, I do feel better about not using drinking water. The water cycle can't always keep up with high water consumption. This camera is moody, I tell you. Like sometimes it wants you to press the button extra hard and if you don't, it just won't start or it will just randomly do shenanigans. Uh, I'll try to rein it in and get it under control. I don't really know why I find horizontal cuts tricky. They shouldn't be all that difficult. But to me, a rising backhand cut is way easier than the horizontal. But let's keep trying anyway. Ah, damn it. It's so idyllic right now with chittering birds flying past and all that. I mean, it's, it's November, but this is really great weather right now. It's perfect for me. No bugs. It's not too cold. Could be warmer, but it's not terrible. And uh, it's so calm. I love it. Anyway, so there we go again with the horizontal. I don't know what my problem with that is. Let's try it with the diagonal. What is with the camera right now? Uh-oh, it just froze on me. What are you doing? I expected there to be something wrong with the battery, but now I'm wondering if it's the camera itself. That would be worst case scenario. I don't want to have to replace this. It's expensive. Why am I cursed with technology, huh? What, what is this? Come on. Don't be stupid. Don't be ridiculous. I don't want to just shut you off because that guarantees file corruption. The joke's on me. Even the off switch doesn't work. When I turn it off, it's still frozen. Oh boy. Are you done being naughty? Can we can we get back to work now? Is that a thing? Huh? Guess I gotta keep an eye on it. <sighs> now we're so paranoid.
it again. Press the button, it doesn't want to. Why am I surrounded by cameras that refuse to work? Are you still recording? No, you're not recording, are you, you piece of sh- So what I'm noticing here is that with this light sword, you really have to follow through properly. Otherwise, the low mass is just not really going to make it through. I'm really paranoid about this camera. Are you working? Hmm? All right, now I'll try something that I don't normally do. Cutting from the scabbard. Now, it feels a little awkward, you know, like anything you don't practice regularly, basically. So the sword handles very well, but it's more challenging than I expected to cut with. But uh, probably just a matter of getting used to it. All right, now I'm more in my element. From what I understand, this is designed as a single-handed sword and it's most definitely light enough for that. But the grip is also long enough for me to use it as a hand and a half sword. All right, it's getting a little dim for the Kronos. It needs a lot of light for halfway decent quality. So um, yeah, just brought you a little closer so you can see better. Let's see if I can do a false edge cut. <laughs> well, a partial one. Do we have any usable pieces left? Not really, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> now these pieces are all too short. Can't really work with that. All right, hope you enjoyed this cutting footage and commentary. I'll try to get the reviews done as soon as possible. I uh, don't know yet when that's going to be, but um, we'll see. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks.